three pound field gun, often referred to as a battalion gun. Um, the battalion gun, some regiments had them, some didn't. If the regiments did have a field gun, they were given a artillery personnel from the Royal Artillery, of which at the time of the War of 1812, there was approximately 103 of them spread throughout um, Upper Canada, from Kingston to Fort Militia Mackinac. Today we would normally use uh, a crew of about six. Today we're going to be doing it with four of us. So a three pound gun would fire a three pound ball. Okay, A six pound gun would fire a six pound ball. So here we are, we're going to start here, we'll go through the drill, okay? Clear the vent. Now he's put in the, the pick uh, in the uh, touch hole, he's clearing the vent from any uh, previous firing of any uh, debris left in the breach. And uh, he's using a little brush and brush then a, a brush pick. We're going to tend the vent. Now the vent, the vent is the hole in the breech from the top of the outside of the gun, and that's where the quill will go when we load. Okay, advance the charge. Oh, I'm sorry, hook the piece. So here we have a hook. It looks like a giant corkscrew. That is for removing any previous debris in the barrel. The gunpowder would have been uh, put in canvas sacks. Okay. Clear. Sponge the piece. So now we have a sponge, which is actually a woolen swab. They'll advance it into the water and shake it off, and it'll be put down the, the, the barrel of the gun. And uh, that is to bur stop any burning embers. You'll notice that the man at the back, the man has his thumb over the touch hole. And you'll hear that pop that, gives, that tells me that there was a good vacuum seal in that tube and that uh, we all know that fire will not burn in a vacuum. Okay. No, 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 no. Run the truck. You come back to your spot. Good, okay. Okay. Now you'll notice that the implement is put on the wheel of the gun. That is to tell the field commanders of the infantry that that particular gun is now loaded. Okay. Pick and prime. Again, we're going to take the brass pick. We're going to pierce the cartridge that was put in the breech of the gun. Home, okay. And now we're going to take a quill, which would have been a bird's feather, which is hollow, and it would have had a very fine gunpowder put in it, and it will be put into the breech of the gun through the vent hole. Okay. Prepare to fire. Advance the wind stock. Fire. Then stop. Hook the piece. Hold it up so they can see this. No, nope. try it again. Can you feel it? Keep journey as you pull it out. Once, 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 yeah. About like the muskets, every once in a while, the 
the charge of everything will come out of the barrel. I'd say it from clear. Okay, sponge a piece. We'll try. Sometimes the sponge will drag it down. Keep your finger on it good and tight oh, yeah. there. I can hear. Uh, no, I don't think so. Can you hear? I think it's the, um, let's see the end of the sponge. No, it didn't, it didn't come off the sponge. No, it's clear. It is. It's clear. It came out. Okay, stand down, make safe. We always try to make sure that the gun is safe. Every once in a while, everything will come out, but sometimes there's a piece left in. That's what we were fishing for. Okay.